welcome to AGTV. Wow, what a Ryder Cup. Under Paul McGinley's captaincy, Europe retained the cup in style, winning 16 and a half to 11 and a half. But it was by no means easy. Team USA put on an impressive show. They won the four ball sessions on both mornings, two and a half to one and a half. However, it was the foursomes that let them down, with no pair seeming to gel with each other enough to gain a full point. Colin Montgomery noted that Team USA just didn't seem to have that same emotional team bond as Team Europe. However, at the start of the singles on day three, it looked like the magic momentum had definitely swung back to the visitors, and Team USA managed to worry a few Europeans with memories of the Battle of Brookline in 1999. But Europe breathed a sigh of relief when normal service was resumed, as McElroy thrashed his long-suffering sparring partner, Ricky Fowler, five and four. Other heroics came from the likes of McDowell and Rose, who fought back to win and half their matches respectively. Heimer chipped in for a match-ending eagle to beat Masters champion Bubba Watson, 4-2. The duo of Ian Poulter and hometown favourite Stephen Gallagher failed to bond and suffered a 5-4 defeat at the hands of rookie dream team Spieth and Reid. Although Poulter did have flashes of Ryder Cup brilliance that we've come to expect from him, it was Justin Rose who was truly magnificent, winning the most points of the tournament. Although he was perhaps at his happiest when partnering super Swede Henrik Stenson. In fact, they seem to have developed quite the bromance. Speaking of which, love seemed to be in the air in McGinley's interview after Jamie Donaldson's glorious approach shot, which sealed the win for the Europeans. They didn't seem to be able to stop clutching and kissing each other's faces during the mutual love-in. Donaldson and fellow rookie Victor Dubuisson definitely made their mark on the team, winning five and a half valuable points between them and both forging strong partnerships with veterans Westwood and McDowell. The celebrations continued long into the night. In fact, those celebrations began a tad prematurely thanks to Rory unwittingly popping his champagne cork while his teammates continued their games on the green beside him. Ben Crane led the gracious acknowledgement of the awesomeness of Team Europe with his congratulatory tweet. Although, we can't help feel for Tom Watson, as he has received an awful lot of criticism from the media, and unfortunately this was led by Phil Mickelson. He said he didn't know why Tom had deviated from the winning formula of Azinger in 2008. No doubt a tad bitter that he wasn't allowed to play on Saturday after a tired performance on Friday afternoon. You've got to feel a bit sorry for Team USA that the headline-grabbing haircuts and gracious wearing of their nanny's novelty knitted jumpers didn't help motivate them enough in their self-proclaimed quest for redemption. Surely we must all feel a touch of Ryder Cup hangover after the action-packed three days has come to an end. And can't believe we have to wait two years for more of the same in Minnesota. Let the countdown commence. Thanks for watching and see you next time on AGTV.